Hello, I'm Lelda Smith for the Finance News Network and joining me from the Antares Listed Property Fund is Portfolio Manager Richard Cahoon. Richard, welcome to FNN. Thank you. Richard, can you start by introducing us to the Antares Listed Property Fund? Yeah, the Antares Listed Property Fund is an actively managed investor in Australian listed property securities, but also property-like securities. Uh, it's low turnover and tax aware and aims to deliver uh, better than benchmark returns over the medium term, but at a low cost. Now, the fund invests in listed property and listed property securities. What do you look for in the securities and how do you determine value? Uh, first, our primary valuation tool is the dividend discount model. Um, this is really uh, valuing the income stream that comes from the property securities. Uh, we also use net asset value, which is a way of capturing the value of the actively managed portion of some of the companies which are involved in other activities such as property management and property development. So by this way, we, we, act, we capture the income stream and also the underlying value of the businesses as well. And do you only invest in Australian property? Only Australian listed property securities and property-like securities because we do have some flexibility around the benchmark. The primary reason for that is because we are interested in attracting Aust Australian investors that are looking for an Australian dollar income rather than a global property exposure. Now investors were scared off leveraged listed property plays during the GFC. How has the listed property sector changed in recent times? Well, firstly, it really had to change. Uh, there was way too much leverage and payout ratios were way too high coming into the 2006 and 2007 period. This is after a period of sustained bullishness and, and low credit costs. In terms of the leverage in, in the sector, that really improved in 2010. There was a, a large amount of capital raising, which fixed the balance sheets. The next stage was for new management to come in and also um, board renewal. So over the, um, over the preceding couple of years, we've had quite a lot of new management teams come into the market. Um, so far, some of them are still proving their worth, but, but uh, by and large, that process of renewal is largely complete. We call it the rehabilitation of the sector, if you like. Now, looking closer at the fund's positions, Stockland has recently released its interim results. What was your assessment? Uh, we thought it was a strong result. Uh, the result overall was up 5%. The residential result was up 39%. And remember, Stockland is an owner of property as well as a developer of Broadacre residential. Um, in terms of what we look at as the leading indicator of uh, the residential performance, um, the deposits on uh, land blocks were up by 41%. Um, that was uh, a very strong result, an indication that the market has really turned around. Um, one issue that the stock has had traditionally with uh, the market is that the residential sector really drives sentiment towards the stock. And while still on Stockland, what do you believe is the likelihood of their proposed takeover of Australand being successful? As it stands, they've made a conditional um, proposal at $4.20 value. That's been rejected by Australand, the target. Our view is we would not like to see them pay much more than that. In fact, we're very skeptical about uh, merger and acquisition activity in the REIT sector. Um, often this is because the major benefits touted by management teams in, in achieving scale and EPS growth are either often not realised or come at the cost of uh, higher gearing and, uh, and longer term performance. Finally, Richard, can you give us an overview of your portfolio and a snapshot of some of your largest positions? Certainly. Some of our larger positions are most definitely in the, in the big cap stocks. So amongst those, Westfield Group rather than Westfield Retail Trust. Um, and also Stockland, which uh, we mentioned the result of previously, and also Goodman Group, which is uh, a global in, uh, developer of industrial property. And we have a very favourable view of industrial property globally at the moment. Um, in terms of the small cap stocks, Asia Pacific data centres, which we see as akin to an industrial um, property owner of the future in that it hosts the data centres that big enterprises use uh, to effectively mine their own data and run their whole server operations from. Also, uh, Peaton Company, which is, although it's a small cap company, is very big in the residential sector and certainly has a very large pipeline of broad acre residential development. Richard Cahoon, thank you for the introduction to the Antares Listed Property Fund. Thank you.